As we mentioned at the top of the show today, we're kicking off a new feature, Real Life According to Meryl Marco. Who the heck is that, you say? Well, as we also mentioned earlier, a while back, Meryl was a producer for Letterman. David Letterman, Stupid Petrix, do you remember that? That was her idea. Well, today she's a best-selling author and humorist. And anyway, on this show, Meryl tackles a classic quandary involving friends who have friends who have kids. Ladies and gentlemen, real life according to Meryl Marco. I have what seems to be an ever-increasing amount of friends who have children between the ages of two and four. This is the age I dread the most. And it's not because I don't like children at this age. I mean, after all, they're adorable and inventive and hilarious, and we all love to watch them smear frosting on their faces and sit down in the dog food bowl. That's right. <laughs> I'd like to point out that pretty much all of the aforementioned charms are visual. The problem begins for me at about a year and a half old when baby wants to get on the phone. Hi. Which I bet is so adorable. Baby's all pretending to talk on the phone. It's probably so cute. Plus, baby insists. He cries if you don't let him get on the phone. Well, you don't put him behind the wheel of your car just because he cries, do you? Now, suddenly, I'm on the phone with no one because this is what the action is at my end. Say hi to Meryl. Sometimes there's a little of this thrown in. Meryl wants you to say hi to But for the most part, I'm supposed to be performing. I'm supposed to be doing this. Hello, 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 hello. Oddly enough, this is not as much fun as it seems. If there's anything I like less than talking to a dead phone, it's saying hello in a wide variety of goofy voices to no response. Because guess what? This is what the tiny children do on the phone. Nothing. Nothing. They never say anything at all. Nothing at all. Not even audible breathing. That's why I have no choice but to issue this following ultimatum. Do not put your tiny children on the phone with me. In fact, the next time the impulse overtakes you, here's what I would prefer. Just put your coffee table on the phone with me. At least your coffee table won't expect me to amuse it or get all bent out of shape if I hang up on it. And if you do put your children on the phone with me, there will be consequences because I am done making a whole bunch of goofy voices to no response. From now on, I'm going to read to them from the newspaper. I'm going to tell them about Bosnia and everything. Like this. Hello, baby. I see where tens of thousands of North Koreans will starve to death this year unless more foreign aid can be raised. I'm going to spare them nothing. <laughs> or even worse, I might do this. You still come out ahead. At least you get to hear slurping noises. From Los Angeles, I'm Meryl Marco, and you have been warned. <laughs> We have been warned, Meryl. What do you the little guy was? Do we know? It was a cute kid. Tough on phones, but cute kid. Anyway, we'll be getting a lot more real-life thoughts from Meryl in the future, so stay tuned.